The sun always shines on rice soccer. Speaking of sunshine, coach, how about a wrap up of the Florida trip? Uh, you know, a good weekend for us. A difficult trip down there with uh, both FIU and FAU and especially Florida Atlantic. I think they're up to 23 in the country now in the RPI. And Pat Baker, the coach, has done an absolutely fantastic job of, of both bringing in talent and, and developing kids once he's got them there. So great night Friday night. I thought we played very well. Uh, we're able to rest and rotate a good bit and be ready for Sunday. And, and we didn't think Sunday was the best version of ourselves, but we're still in the game with uh, five minutes to go down a goal against a, a really good team on the road. So tons of positives from it, tons of things still to work on as we try and continue to get better. And, uh, you know, very clearly we're, we're not where we want to be yet, but, but we keep making strides that direction and, and hopefully we're going to peak here at the end of the season. I don't know if any other team has the back-to-back -back games that Rice has coming up. FAU and North Texas, what's your scouting report on the Mean Green? Well, Mean Green, they've really set the standard for Conference USA over the last five years. And, and John Hedlund's one of the best coaches in the country and most successful while being one of the most underrated, if, if you ask me. I, I'm not sure there's a team that's dominated a league in the fashion they have over the last five years. Uh, so we know it's going to be a great challenge. You know, we don't have a player on the team who's ever beat North Texas. So uh, on senior day, we'd like to change that uh, and send our seniors out with a, a, a really resounding performance. But we know the challenge is going to be as tough as it gets. You mentioned the seniors, and you can point to all the statistics. But, Coach, how about the seniors and the job they've done working with a new coach? Yeah, it's just from day one, it's been fantastic when we got here in the spring. You know, to start with, all five of them are such high-quality human beings. Uh, and, our, and I think I speak for the whole coaching staff when I say we enjoy their company every day. And, and then as uh, student-athletes, just top-notch, everything you'd ever want in a student-athlete. And it, as a parent myself, everything you'd ever want your kids to become, all five of them. Uh, and then on the field, they've just been a dream. Uh, their work ethic is through the roof, their coachability is is super high, and all five of them very individually, it's been awesome to see their kind of development from the spring to now and the, and the path they've each led uh, through the fall. And, and they're a really big part of, of what's been a successful season so far, and hopefully an even uh, bigger part of what's to come. You mentioned the five players, and then there's one more senior who will be honoring here this week. Talk about the work your student manager, Julia, has done at the Royalty. Yeah, our manager crew I think is fantastic. Same thing from the first day we got here uh, in the spring. Julia and, and Chloe have both been a huge part of our daily operations. And, and Julia is the type of person you want in the program. Good natured, hard working, and intelligent, and helpful in every way, shape, or form. So we will miss her as well.